Hello, this is Cabo. In this video I'll be talking about zombie conversion times. So I want to mention this because Saigai Ryan pointed out to me a while back that zombie villagers are converted faster if you surround them with iron bars and beds. I checked the code as well, and indeed they are converted faster, but I wasn't really sure how much. Now I un unhosted a video on this as well, but his results were very different from the ones that I had originally experienced. He was seeing results that was on, were on the scale of minutes, but I was only seeing them on the scale of seconds. So I wanted to really do a proper test here and find out exactly what was going on and see what results we got. So I've set up this array of uh, 25, I guess, jail cells for the zombie villagers here. Each one contains a zombie villager. These are 9x9x10 nine by nine by cells. Uh, they're 10 tall just because the, the zombie villagers are are two blocks tall. I just wanted to make sure that in case it's looking at the head or in case it's looking at the feet, it would be uh, containing the zombie regardless of that. I've also left an opening here so that I can make uh, it in and out easily to convert, start the conversion process, and I put some blocks there to prevent them from moving around so they're always going to be in the center there. So let's talk about how I'm actually going to do this. Um, I've actually installed, written and installed a mod to make this a little bit more controlled. First of all, I've got the zombies here not despawning anymore, so I don't have to worry about them disappearing and that affecting the experiment. I also took away the randomness in the experiment, so previously you could have a zombie villager conversion time of anywhere between 2 minutes and 5 minutes. I've eliminated that, so now it's a flat 5 minutes, so no longer have to worry about that coming to play. I'm suspecting maybe that was what Unhost was seeing. The difference between one that was at two minutes and one that was at something like five minutes, you get a pretty big margin there. So I've completely el eliminated that by setting it to a flat five minutes. I've also changed the way we can visualize the time on, on the zombie villager conversion. So I've got it so that when we start to convert a zombie, it now displays two times here. The time at the top here is the time that has elapsed in ticks. So this is the number of t ticks that has passed, converted to uh, a time in minutes, seconds, and then these are hundreds of seconds. And then the bottom here is the number of ticks remaining that is also converted to the same time, minutes, seconds, and hundreds of seconds. So the way it works, the way this conversion works, is each iron bar here has a chance of reducing the number of ticks on this bottom value by an additional amount. So basically there's a small chance for each iron bar to speed up the conversion time. Anyway, I've got these two zombies here to serve as a control. Basically these guys should be exactly five minutes because there are no iron bars around and these guys inside of the iron bars should be faster because the iron bars increase their or decrease their, their conversion time. So let's go ahead and set up all of these guys, get the conversion started, and then we can actually, uh, once they've all converted, see some, some measurements on them. Now at the end of all of this, when they convert to villagers, I take that elapsed time, that top number, and pass it on to the villager that's get, that gets cre created in their place. So that's how I'm going to be able to see at the end how much time exactly has passed on all of these. So uh, that eliminates the any discrepancies that would come about if I were to start these guys at a different time and try to clock each of them and measure them. Um, I'm eliminating that completely by just having the final villager result show the time so I can know exactly how much time has passed. Anyway, let me go through all of these and I'll get back to you once we've gotten through to the end. Okay, so that should be all of them. Um, as you can see, they look like they're all converting just fine. The, oh, I think I missed this guy. Let me go ahead and start him as well. Alright, so that should be all of them. So, let's take a look at these guys, see how they're going. Uh, if we look at this guy, you can see he has, if we take these two numbers and add them together, we get five minutes. You know, it's hard to tell because, um, 
they're moving so quickly, but if you pay attention you can sort of see that we've got five minutes left on these guys. Now if we come over and take a look at one of these guys, so let's go ahead and come down here and look at this guy. Oops. You can see it's a little faster than five minutes. You can see this one is it's going to be about three minutes in a few seconds here. But when it becomes three minutes, you see there's not two minutes remaining, but only about one minute and 50 seconds. So you can see it's a little bit faster on the ones that are in the cages. Oops, let me put those back real quick so it doesn't affect the results too much. You can see it's faster than the ones inside the cages here. And this guy, the other control as well, you can see he's, uh, he's also five minutes. So let's keep watching this guy for the, the next 30 seconds. We'll see him convert. We should see exactly five minutes on him. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, he's about to convert. And there he goes. You can see five minutes got passed along to this villager here. Uh, let's see. I guess there aren't any more that are about to finish. So let's just uh, sit here and watch a little bit more. All right, so our next control is about to go. Uh, they should both be exactly five minutes. Yep, this guy is as well. Okay, sounds like this guy went. All right, so we've got a time on this guy. Let's uh, set up a sign so we can know what this, this is. So let's see, that's 12.3. So this guy sp was sped up by 12.3 seconds. Uh, this one was, looks like exactly 15 seconds. This one was 13.3 seconds. Uh, 11.35 here. All right, so I'm going to go through and set up all of these signs and then go through and calculate an average, see exactly what we got on all of these. So I'll be right back in just a little bit once I've done that. Okay, so I went through all of these now, and I've added all of the number of seconds reduced on all of these cells together and divided by 25 for the number of cells to get the average, which is about 12.03 seconds. So we reduced, on average, for each cell in this array of 25 over a five-minute duration, on average we reduced it by 12.03 seconds. And for a duration of five minutes, that's 300 seconds, we have 12 over 300, which is about 4%. So we set up here, if we had a 9 by 9 by 9, that would be 729 iron bars. Um, set up about 720 iron bars if we include the ones that are missing from here. And the result is only a 12 second reduction on average. So not sure if it's worth it. As you can see, the results, if we had, say, gotten done this test for two and a half minute trials rather than five minute trials, would probably have an average of about six minutes, I'm guessing. Probably about the same percentage reduced there at 4%. Uh, the range isn't very wide either, showing that our average is pretty, pretty accurate, probably. See, our fastest here is about 15.5 seconds reduced, and our slowest is about 10 seconds reduced. So with a range like that, it seems to be the case that um, probably what Unhost was seeing was just the differences caused by the random initial uh, initial range of 2 to 5 minutes. So yeah, not not particularly effective from what I can see. Uh, but maybe it will change in the future. Maybe if we ask them on Reddit or something, they can improve the, the efficiency of this a little bit more because this just seems a little unfair, you know, to add a feature but make it so useless that nobody would want to set up 720 iron bars just to, to try to make use of it. So maybe in the future we'll see some something better there. Anyway, I guess I'll include a mod here. Let me know if you actually if you want to have the mod that shows the numbers above the zombies' heads when you're converting them. 
Uh, maybe just the time remaining. I don't know if you'd need to know the time elapsed. So let me know if you want that mod, and I guess I can, can put that together. J it's just something simple. So, yep. I found this interesting, some new information, so I hope everybody else did. I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching. So that's all for this video. Bye.